My guest now is Felix Kessel, Chief Executive Officer of the agency Owen Kessel Leo Burnett. As we look today at the importance of creativity in uh, the advertising world amid this onslaught from the digital uh, from the digital disciplines, Felix, a very warm welcome to you. Why do we need to talk about creativity more now than we've ever done before? Because there is so much stuff out there, so much stuff, and only the very best stuff gets noticed. Mm. And digital just has meant a proliferation of new channels, new content, easier access to content, people making it all over the place. You've got to be really cut through now mm. more than ever before to when make you get your message. cut through, what does that mean? That means something that actually stands a chance of commanding your attention. That's not just the bad old interruption billboard TV ad that you used to have. This is something that reaches out to you and actually commands your attention. So I'm going to sit in front of my tablet, tablet or mobile phone these days and I will give that brand some of my valuable time. Exactly. And you don't have a lot of it to give, especially you, Jeremy. But you don't have a lot of it to give. When you do, it's got to be worthwhile. Which accentuates the importance of creativity. Having said that, is creativity in the digital space these days any different to what it was earlier? But I think the platforms have gotten um, much more robust and there's a lot more that you can do on them, which means storytelling on the platforms is, uh, uh, has, come, has come of age. Mm -hmm. So there is a very, very big difference from where it came from. But the creativity itself, mm -hmm. that's perpetual, that's eternal. So how has this affected an agency like yours in terms of its operating model? Fundamentally. Mm -hmm. What we used to do is we used to be able to tell a story inside a particular context and we'd package the story and put it in the world and then we'd sit and wait for things to happen. Now you have to shepherd the story. Now you have to be involved in the story and in the process of getting the story into the world. So from genesis to execution <laughs> to follow through exactly. and ultimate engagement. Exactly. It's like a biblical thing. It's yeah. genesis, uh, then it was exodus yes. because now we're following it, yeah. and then Leviticus because there were rules. Mm. <laughs> and we could go through all the, uh, all the books in the Bible if we wanted to. But let me suggest to you that brands don't always do that. No, that there is still a point, and even the agencies, they say to a point, our job is now done. Yes, yes. They so do. how do you further the scope? So that's the problem, is that we've forgotten that we have to shepherd the story uh, 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 way past the point of just telling it. Um, and I think that that's where agency systems and procedures have also fallen flat because we were always geared to packaging the story beautifully and putting it in the world. Mm. We were never geared to publicizing our own story, but social media requires that of us and publicizing it in an interesting way. So we are now not only creating the product for our brand, mm. we are having to advertise the product of our brand and the story of our brand. So process, logistics, all of that yep. is important, but you're also going to suggest that fundament fundamentally the culture within agencies has had to change. Absolutely. In what respect, for you? So you've had to learn how to promote content that you've put into the world. So the advertisers have had a, a large mirror held up to them to say, great that you're making this content. How do you advertise that content? So how do you change? How do you do that within the change of, of culture in an agency? So what you is do it is you've a, got a, a re simple restructuring. No, or more than no, that? not at all. I think there's a more fundamental need for accountability across agencies. So uh, it's a really interesting thing, and maybe where the millennials probably have a, a, a get a foothold into our mm. into our Damn industry. Damn those millennials! Yes, those millennials. They're so important. You know, they yeah. are. They yeah. are. Um, but what they've done is they take total accountability. They say, I don't want to clock in at a particular time, and I don't want, but I do want a set of responsibilities and a set of deliverables. And they practice that accountability, I think, really, really well, which means that they are not a cradle to grave. There's no grave. Once there's a cradle, you have to keep pushing this thing until at some point it dissipates into the ether. And reinvents itself as something else. With luck, if you have a good enough piece of content. So how difficult is all of this then in terms of client retention? So. It's quite a challenge. It's a challenge in two, on two fronts. One is that we still have digital agencies and traditional agencies uh, or creative agencies. And I don't understand really how those two live apart from each other anymore. I'm not sure that's a relevant split. Mm. Um, and in terms of client retention, if they are split across those two things, it makes it difficult for both agencies because they're both still vying for the you know, the, mm. the primary position, if you will. Um, so in terms of client retention, you can often lose a client uh, because you are split across those two disciplines. If you're a proper um, unified uh, uh, agency, in terms of retention, it's actually easier to hold on to your client nowadays because you have your claws in quite deep in terms mm. of your, your, uh, what you do for them. Um, so we, we should be aiming for that as agencies. That's the kind of depth of relationship you really want with your clients. It gives you access to their DNA, which we used to have. We kind of lost in the middle, and we have an opportunity to have again. 
deep claws and lots of Bible verses and books. Uh, Felix Kessel <laughs> from Owen Kessel, Leo Bennett, always a great pleasure talking to you. Thank you. Thanks, Jeremy.